This box right here is going to be used a lot this year, and this is the box where I keep my jigs, hooks for my Texas rigs, uh, weights, tubes, you name it. And before we get into the main part of this video, see that? Open that up when you see that. That, especially these right here, these are the jigs that I'm going to be using these this year. I almost said these year. And these right here, this is the little juicy jig, okay? Quarter ounce in size. And is it this one, the one that I have broke open? Yep. See right there, quarter ounce. Green pumpkin with a green pumpkin craw trailer. Uh, this jig right here and a crankbait is what I've been throwing. Well, multiple crankbaits is what I've been throwing the majority of the year so far. And I think I'm going to be fishing these plastics, crankbait, and your crankbaits, excuse me, in top water the majority of the year. But basically, before we get into the fishing portion of the video, I wanted to tell you that I do like these jigs a lot. I would recommend them. And a couple of things that stand out to me that I do really like is. The construction of the head itself, how well it comes through the weeds, the weed guard, it is not, you know, straight up almost, it is pointed toward the hook. The hook on the finesse jig, you would think that since it's a finesse jig, it might not be strong or it might be a little weak. Well, you're going to see in this video and other videos beyond this why that hook is amazing. I mean, it's very strong. There's no issues with it. This jig right here has actually caught a decent amount of fish, um, but like I said, you're only going to see the one in this video. And uh, because of the thumbnail and because I think I want to get it some extra views and I don't want to, yeah, um, I'm going to call it Pike Eat the Jig. So yeah, Pike Eat the Jig, quarter ounce finesse jig. Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about it. I do fish it on a medium heavy rod with 20 pound fluorocarbon. Um, I haven't found that I need a spinning rod or a medium rod, so that is why I use that and why I like that. So you'll see the catch coming up with this jig, and you will see more of that bait in future videos, but I did just want to show that to you guys. Um, and remember, too, another thing, I've had a lot of people ask for smallmouth videos, the Upper Peninsula or uh, Fishing Northern Michigan. you got to remember, uh, harmless plug, I have 385 videos, I think, now. Uh, basically half of my videos are fishing videos and the other half are fishing tackle videos. So keep in mind, if you go down in the description, you will see bass fishing channels, bass fishing videos, bass fishing playlists, and a whole big Michigan fishing thing on my channel. So make sure to check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed and check this jig out. Seriously, it's a good little jig. And you're going to like the clip that I have coming up. It's only one fish, but you got to remember. I'm not doing all the craziness this year. I'm just fishing a few lakes, uh, bank and boat, but lately it's been from the bank. But anyway, I don't want to take any more of your time and sound like I'm rambling. So I'll leave a timestamp for the fish catch. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys next time. Here, get that out of the way. <laughs> I've actually broken a rod like that before I went to cast and on the back cast grabbed the tip of another rod so yeah here let's see what this looks like it should look really good Ooh, I like that fall let's bring it closer and look at it. oh yeah that's where it was it was right here this long rock pile well, it's not really a rock pile, but you know what I mean. Uh oh. Got him. What the heck?
Oh, that's another, that's a pretty good sized pike. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, this is gonna be fun. That's a good one. All right, let's get them over here to where the tools are. Okay. okay, listen, I want my jig back. And I don't mean to be dragging you like this, but here, I gotta get you to the tools. Oh no, that's a fat one. you go you just got to listen to me which you don't want to do but that's pike That's a decent one for sure. There. Oh yeah, it's a good one. See, that's that's why I tell you guys to always check your line for abrasion. See that? See how it's all cut up right there? You're gonna wanna cut that off because that will cause you to lose a fish and give you a big headache. But anyway, see what I was saying about pike will hit anything? square bills spinner baits look at a jig a finesse jig with a craw trailer but yeah man let's get this uh cut off retied and that should be a prime example of like pike up here in the north like they'll hit any bass lure anything and if you like to catch pike they're not that hard to catch well sometimes cut that off and it's cool too because this little finesse jig I thought, as soon as I saw that it was a pike and it was hooked in the mouth like that, I was like, yep, it's probably gonna, uh, what do you call it? Bend the hook out. Nope, didn't bend the hook out. Jig's still good to go. <laughs> See how, how tight that is? That's a tight drag. It's a tight drag. It's a seven foot two medium heavy power fast action and it is 20 pound test. Set the hook hard. And I pulled hard. I probably horsed it actually a little more than I should have, but it's a bait caster. It's a medium heavy rod. I can get away with it, but yeah, that pike fought hard. It actually, you know, it actually fought just as hard as the 39 inch that I caught on the crankbait. Um, but yeah, I guess I'm going to be catching a lot of pike this year, which is fine. It's a lot of clear water and a lot of fun adventures up here. The pre-spawn is great but the fishing is overall pretty finicky depending on the time of the year and the conditions. See that jig? Opens up and it stands up. 